Well, hello everybody. This is Lisa De Nicolet, writer for a year. And I'm standing in front of a piece of artwork that I've walked past for many, many years. And to me, it's actually quite symbolic of the event that I'm going to this evening, which is an Inanna book launch. And I and so many other authors owe so much to Inanna. I came to Inanna by way of a rejection from Second Story Press um, and I emailed them back to say I was sorry that I'd been rejected or I said that I'd been rejected. Usually one shouldn't really say anything, but I was really sad. And they said to me, why don't you try Inanna? Which was really a generous thing of them to do. They didn't have to respond or say anything. And that was in 2008. Now we stand in 2019. This year, The Occult Persuasion and the Anarchist Solution will be published by Inanna. That is book number nine. We have Mad Dog and the Sea Dragon, which is scheduled for 2020. And I mean, none of these books would exist without Inanna. And I'm not alone. There are Inanna, Luciana Ricciatelli, and Rene Knapp, and everybody at Inanna change people's lives. I always say to Luciana, you're an angel who makes people's dreams come true. And that's why I wanted to, you know, record it in front of this mural, which I'm really fond because. I guess that's the moral of the story is that we need to keep on moving keep on trying and you know in that way we succeed so i hope you will enjoy the visuals that i get of tonight's launch thank you and welcome to another book launch here and presentation at the people's residence and i want to thank ayana publication and yeah and then yeah. publications for housing this event and having it here and to continue a great relationship um, with us. Also want to shout out Renee Kapp. Renee, I've known you forever, so I'm really, really happy that you're too in the house. And also do want to mention... Seven, 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 I'm Renee Knapp, I'm Marketing Manager and Publicist at Banana Publications. Women from diverse and marginalized communities, we've been doing this since 1978. It's something that we are committed to do, is, is to provide a platform for these voices to be heard. We are writing about experiences and lives that in many ways, as for me, as someone who was born in Canada, it's just incredible to witness and to to be a part of and to learn about and I'm in awe of them and and Zoe Roy Toronto Writers. Toronto Lit Up is funded by the Toronto Arts Council and spearheaded by the Toronto International Festival of Authors. As a publisher I can't tell you how grateful I am for This is the coolest idea. We are putting together time capsules. I'm tremendously excited by this. Well, that was a really extraordinary evening. And I'd like to just show you all the seats behind us, all those seats that are empty now were completely full. This entire very large bookstore was full of people all enjoying a wonderful launch. So it was a fabulous evening.